The NUS School of Computing is the largest educator of IT professionals in Singapore today. Although the School of Computing was formally established in 1998, the school traces its roots back to 1975 at the former Nanyang University, which begs the question of how much do we actually know about the history of the School of Computing? In the 1960s, computers were far from the sleek, ubiquitous devices we know today. They were colossal, clunky, and astronomically expensive, making them a luxury beyond the reach of the average person. Despite the technological exclusivity, Nanyang University, often referred to as Nanda, was steadfast in its commitment to educate and prepare its students for the technological age, one of whom was Associate Professor Tan Sun Tech. Hi, I'm Tan Sun Tech. I'm the third batch of uh, students graduating from Nanta with a Bachelor of Science degree majoring in Computer Science and Mathematics. At that point, there were two universities, Nanta and the uh, University of Singapore. And Nanta was the first one to offer this Computer Science uh, program uh, to our local students. Okay, so the, this is a, the IBM 1130 computer. So at that time, the, it's not like now when we just type the uh, program and then we can submit and get the results straight away. We have to do something like this. We have to punch a card. So every card is one statement in the, in the program. And we will punch a card and then we submit this deck of card to the operator and we will get the result the next day. And what happens is if you make a mistake, it could be a compilation error, it could be a runtime error, we have to go and punch the card one more time. So you can see that uh, this is a time-consuming process and it's also a costly process because each cup I think is about one cent uh, previously. There were quite a lot of people wanting to enroll in this computer science uh, program but because of limited resources, they have to actually very selective to enroll the students. For example, my batch, we have about 900 students on uh, 1,000 students applying to enroll in this program, but at the end, they only take in 90 students. Graduating from this program means uh, more or less uh, uh, our job is secure. And in fact, I, after I graduate, I didn't even need to go for an interview. My lecturer just introduced, in fact, six of us uh, to his friends and we start uh, our employment even before our graduation ceremony. Professor Suloksu was our the head of department. I remember one thing very clearly. He will write everything uh, on the chalk box and we were very amazed that he can remember everything in his mind and then just uh, talk about it. I really admire the pioneer who, you know, had the foresight to set up this computer science department. It is very important for Nanta to have this uh, computer science department that actually laid the foundation for the revolution of uh, computer uh, science computing in Singapore. Actually, I'm very proud uh, to be the third batch of uh, Nanta graduate uh, with the computer science uh, degree. Uh, in fact, I was also the last batch of Nanta graduate. If you are wondering why, it was because of the merger. The merger that Associate Professor Tan was referring to is the merger between Nanyang University and the University of Singapore. And although the merger itself is well documented, not many people know. What became of the Department of Computer Science after the two universities merged? To find out more about that, we will have to visit our very own walking encyclopedia at the NUS Libraries. Hi, I'm Tim and I've been working at the NUS libraries since 1981. When the team approached me, um, it was obvious to me that the answer would lie in the Singapore-Malaysia collection. Uh, I've been looking after it uh, for a large part of my career here. The Singapore-Malaysia collection is a very rich resource and very important resource for researchers working on the socio-economic, historical and political development of Singapore specifically with regards to the uh, School of Computing, the Singapore-Malaysia collection holds uh, archival materials on its early history. This is the uh, campus news of NUS, uh, the first issue of August 1980. And uh, in here is recorded that uh, the Arts and Social Sciences Faculty of the University of Singapore and the Nanyang University were merged and the two science faculties were also likewise merged. So from here we can conclude that the Department of Computer Science that was in Nanyang University 
was merged into the Faculty of Science at NUS. The research process is like uh, solving a puzzle and you're trying to put uh, pieces together, uh, finding information and making them all fit and tell a story. I'm very glad that I've been able to play a small part in helping the team to put together the story about the early beginnings of the School of Computing. You heard it from Mr. Tim. If you want to find out more about the history of any subject, feel free to visit NUS Libraries. But to recap what Mr. Tim had said, when the two universities merged, the Department of Computer Science at Nanyang University was subsumed under the Faculty of Science at the National University of Singapore. It was then renamed the Department of Information Systems and Computer Science, or DISCS, in 1983. So DICS was probably unique at that time. I think we are probably the, among the first in the world to combine computer science and information systems. And also, given that the computer science was a very fast-moving discipline, we're changing knowledge and technologies all the time, along with the rapid growth of student number. That was an exciting time for all of us. The 80s era was definitely a fast and exciting time for technology and computer science. And did you know that NUS was the birthplace of the internet in Singapore? BITNET, B-I-T-N-E-T, -E is a network which allows you to get into the main internet. Now, the internet, of course, had already existed for many years, but BitNet had become very popular because BitNet was a way to get into internet by very cheap means. And in essence, BitNet was actually a network made up of IBM computers connected to each other. Getting to BitNet was, was useful because BitNet itself had direct linkage into the main internet. So if you were a member of BitNet, you could actually use almost all of the services of internet, email, file transfer, all that sort of thing. The then Computer Center of NUS, under the directorship of Dr. Tio Ho Tong, went immediately into the technicalities of connecting our IBM computer to an IBM computer in the US and to get us into BitNet directly. They took about two years to do this, and sometime in 1987, this was accomplished. And I'm very proud to be the recipient of the first BitNet email message sent from the US to Singapore. With disks at the forefront of computer advancements, the 1980s and 1990s marked a pivotal era of technological evolution, transforming the nation into an innovation hub. In response to the increasing demand for specialization and skilled manpower, in 1998, the Department of Information Systems and Computer Science officially became the School of Computing. Being a fast-changing discipline, we need to regularly and constantly update the curricula. We need to rapidly grow the number of professors, number of students, as well as graduate students. And, uh, and we need to actually set special goal in order to attract the best talents. With the establishment of the school, I think we, we quickly place a lot of focus on research and growing the uh, research capability of the school. For faculty members, I think we encourage them to publish in top conferences. In fact, we, we, we give them lots of support for them and the young graduate students to attend these conferences to make themselves known. As a school, actually, we need to do something extraordinary. We need to have uh, thought leaders. We need to actually initiate new research. Today, we can see computing is probably one of the easiest disciplines to, to quickly innovate and create new enterprises. So I hope the student can take advantage of this in bringing up the full potential of computing. The school has progressed over the years and stands proudly among the top computing schools in the world today. It continues to further advance in three focus areas, talent development, research, and entrepreneurship. We hope you have learned something new about the history of the School of Computing. If you would like to know more about the school and its role in Singapore's IT journey, do visit our NUS Computing Gallery. <laughs>